Wow. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah? Let me know. Yay. All right. Let's do this. What's everybody drinking tonight? Tell me. I know some of you got wine. Somebody's got hot cocoa, right? Elena's drinking hot cocoa because you're on a detox. Oh, wait. Oh, because you're nursing. You're three month old. That makes much more sense. <laughs> I'm drinking a Jargon Pinot Noir 2015 from California. Water. All right. Coffee. Is it night? Oh, Las Vegas. You're on a different time zone than me. Let's give it some time for everybody to get on. Yeah, you do. You do need to come and drink wine with me because usually something crazy happens. And like I already said, I um, didn't eat much today because it was a busy day. And I was going to eat when I got home, but life happened. And then I didn't get a chance. So I'm going to eat after this, but I don't know. What's going to happen with the wine on an empty stomach? I guess we'll see. Ready for the merch? Um, one of you lovely people is helping me with the merch. So it should be ready in like a week. I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to get a t-shirt and wear it all the time. All the time. My hair looks great. Thank you. It's because it's straight for once. Oh. <laughs> Reptar, get your wisdom teeth out today, so no wine for you. That's actually, I feel like, when you should have more wine is when you get your wisdom teeth out. I asked my kid to bring mine up, and he didn't. What are kids good for? If they, I know, exactly. Aiden's over there playing video games right now because he's officially on winter break, so he thinks he can just stay up all night playing video games. Mm -hmm. Wait, Nicole Kissinger videos are being removed? You found out you're seven weeks pregnant, Mandy? Congratulations. Ah, it's exciting. I'm so happy for you. Mm. Pinot Noir. Yeah, John. How are you? <laughs> it's nice to see you here. Hey, Tamara, Lisa, Laura Ply, Lori Ply? Hmm. Your son's playing Mortal Kombat. Aiden's playing Skylanders. I don't. I don't know what else it's called Skylanders. Eight weeks pregnant, Scarlett. You're eight weeks pregnant. I did have a glass or two of wine when I was pregnant. You know, not like every day. I didn't have a glass or two of wine every day. But we're Italian, so that's kind of how we grew up. You know, I was having wine at the table at dinner when I was like six or seven. At first, they mixed it with Seven Up, and then it was just wine. My friends will come over for dinner and they thought it was weird, but it's just how we grew up. A little wine's not going to hurt the baby, but it's absolutely a personal preference. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Erin. Hi, Shelby. It's your first time here, Shelby? Yay, newbie. I'm watching with my 10-month-old. Oh, Teresa, that's so cute. Yes, Italian pride. Thank you. I do not feel like I look beautiful, Carla, because it's been a long day of work. But this is going to help. Everybody looks beautiful after a couple glasses of Pinot Noir. You have caught a live Chloe. What time is it in Scotland right now? Watching with your fur babies. I locked my fur babies upstairs with Adam because they're so loud and annoying today. <laughs> Hi from Belgium. Visiting parents for the holidays. First time here. Oh, thank you for coming, salt and light. New subscriber. Thank you, Rachel. I'm so glad you're here. Big glass of red wine, Jamie. Oh, yes, it's everybody's first day of break from school for the most part. Mo's here. When's my last day of work? Um, it's the end of this month, December 31st. Ah! So exciting. 
Kids are in bed. Belle is in bed, but Aiden's still going. Yeah. Hi, Rose. <laughs> you are not late, Rose. You're here just in time. Crazy story about Jim Jones in Jonestown. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. You never heard of that? Insane. Oh, it's the first time you see me live? We have so many newbies here. I love that. You have to work in four hours inside sanity. Are you inside sanity? Because I feel like I'm inside insanity. Oh, thank you, Randy. Hi, Steph. It's also my first time here. Oh, my God, Claudia. I love that there's so many new people here. What are we going to talk about today, guys? Oh, from Alabama. Do you ever hear my southern accent? I do a good southern accent. I don't know if I should do it. I do a good British accent. I think. I think. This is like in my own head. I think I do a good southern accent and a good British accent. So maybe sometime I'll, I'll show them to you after some more wine. Whose fiance was arrested? Oh, so that was the, um, the woman in Colorado who went missing on Thanksgiving. Her fiance was arrested today. We'll talk about that in a little bit because it's definitely, um, it's definitely something we need to talk about. It's crazy. Thank you, Kimberly. Spooks and her stories. Ooh. I'm new here too. Paulina, welcome. Oh, Mama Bear, first time you see me live. I love Mama Bears. Talk about the Ohio murders. What Ohio murders? Can I sing right now? <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> Never gonna do the British accent. Okay. What am I gonna say? I can, you tell me what to say. Tell me what to say because I'm on the spot now. You're never moving to Colorado, Mandy. Never will I ever go to Colorado. I'm not even going to visit, honestly. At this point, I don't even want to visit. I don't want to take my chances. From New England, hello. Hi, Shikari. Erin, I'm glad you made it too. Kelsey from Colorado. Yep, we're going to talk about um, the Colorado woman in a couple minutes. Definitely insane. Um, right, what, I think it was like seven? No, it was like six o'clock when I saw the latest update that had gone up like 13 minutes ago about what they thought was going on with this woman, Kelsey, in Colorado. Never marry Peterson or a man from Colorado, ever. Right, Anna? Never marry a Peterson or a man from Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> Between the polygamy and the murders, I'll stay in New York. There's stuff going on in New York, man. There's stuff going on in New York. Uh, David Crowley, sure. Why are all Peterson psychos? I'm sure not all of them are psychos, Mo. I'm sure some of them are like, okay, since Peterson's a really common name, it just happens to be this weird coincidence. Thank you, Candace, with a K. <laughs> You're going to New York for Christmas? So usually we have beautiful snow here, but not this year. It's just rainy and gross. Rapper Durst was from New York. Also, the Hillside Strangler, I believe, is from here, too. Kenneth Bianchi, he looks just like my dad. Like, in the pictures of Kenneth Bianchi from the 70s, he looks identical to my dad. Um, and my dad was, like, an Italian immigrant, so I actually, I wanted to call him and be like, hey, did you hang out with this guy when you moved to Rochester? Because it was right around the time that they were, that my dad came here, and I wonder if they were friends. I gotta talk, I gotta ask him. I gotta ask him. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations on 43,000 subs, guys. I'm so excited. I'm really like hoping for 100,000. Is that like a high goal to aim for? Like 100,000 by February. Do you think we can do it? Because that would be the most amazing thing ever. Because Aiden wants me to get, which button is it that you get for 100? Silver. Silver. Aiden wants me to get the silver play button. And then I told him he could put it in his room. <laughs> Well, it's a high goal, Leah, by February. I'm not saying 100,000 only, but 100,000 by February so Aiden can get a silver play button in his room. I hope one day I get a million subs, Sarah. I hope I do. Obsessed with the Chris Watts body cam footage and all the interrogation videos. I hate him so much, guys. I hate him so much. Do you know I still get, like, comments and hate on these videos about that I put up about Chris? I think there's two videos, well, like, two videos up about Chris Watts, and I get so much hate every single day, probably 10 to 15 to 20 comments of people defending him. It's your first live, Shikari. Two-week training. Mm -hmm. We'll have to find an exam on Monday. Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> Can I ask for some advice? My boyfriend cheated on me. Got back together. Whoa. Whoa. 
wait, I didn't see it all. But if he cheated on you, girl, it's over. Don't get back together. End it. It's done. It's over. Mm -mm. It's end it. Yeah. It's never going to be the same. You'll never trust him. And frankly, I don't think he deserves you. Yes. Ever do the Jack the Ripper? Yes, I will do Jack the Ripper. Why are you getting hate? People are crazier than he is? Yep. Part of Italy is your family from Sicily. We're from Sicily. Well, my family's from Sicily. Live in northern Kentucky. Really close to Cincinnati, Ohio. Need to know what these Ohio murders are. Yeah, I need to know what the Ohio murders are as well. How many people died in Jonestown? Um, I think it was like 911, 915. I think it was like 911. Did you hear that? I said 9-11. Uh, maybe it was like 9-15. Maybe 9-13. I don't know. Uh, would you ever cover Kanika Jenkins? Yep, Kanika Jenkins is on my list to cover. And I will cover her. Because I think her case definitely needs to be covered. And I know a lot of people have. But I like to look in and see how deep I can go with it. Um, did I get him dinged by YouTube? Not yet. Because of Nicole, is she going around like harassing people who are posting about her on YouTube? Like she probably has a lot of time on her hands now because she can't leave the house. Hamilton, Ohio, she's getting hate because some people romanticize killers. Yes. Nine ten is how many died in Johnson. Okay, not nine eleven. That would have been weird, right? Conspiracy theory, right there. Who's Nicole? Nicole Kissinger is Chris Watts's mistress or was his mistress <laughs> was his mistress he's in jail so he doesn't have a mistress on the outside at least probably has lots of uh friends on the inside though <laughs> would you do a video on columbine oh maybe i gotta i gotta think about that cover any stories from seattle does um does kurt cobain count as a story from seattle uh, Janelle Matthews missing for 30 years from Colorado. Looked up Heaven Gate after Heaven's Gate after your video. Yes, Heaven's Gate is awesome. There's a good podcast too called the Heaven's Gate podcast. Um, it's awesome. The guy who does it did an incredible job. But if you don't want spoilers, don't listen to it. I'd love to see a video on Columbine. Okay, will you do a video on Pauline Kilkenny? Yep. As long as you guys email me and let me know your video ideas, I put them all in a list. Even if I don't respond right away, I am putting them all in a list. Are there any cases you don't ever want to cover? I don't think so. Um, there's cases I'd be hesitant to cover, like cases that a lot of people, you know, have differing opinions on, like 9-11, things like that. But no, there's nothing I wouldn't cover. If you do 10 Buddy, read A Stranger Beside Me. Sounds so cool. Sent you a few links about different cults in New York. Yep, I did get those, Angel, absolutely. The New York cults are uh, taken over. Doesn't it seem like they're they're kind of taken over, especially that one that just like popped up? Insane. It was right close to me too. Merry Christmas to you too, Nora. Oh, are you gonna do Lacey Peterson? Yeah, I can do Lacey and Scott. Absolutely. So let's yeah, there's cults in New York, Leah. That's crazy. Call videos are your favorite? Well, once a month we I should have one out. Who do you think killed John Benet Ramsey? Did you watch my John Benet Ramsey video? I think I made it kind of clear who I think killed her, but I can't say it outright. Let's talk a little bit about the woman in Colorado. I'm going to pull up the news story on my phone. So the last thing that popped up was an hour ago. And this says Patrick Frazzi. I don't know if I'm saying this right because I haven't had time to really look into it. Frazzi. The fiancé of missing Colorado mom, Kelsey Barath, is arrested and booked in her murder. So basically, Kelsey went missing on um, Thanksgiving. And the last time she was seen was going shopping with her one-year-old. And then according to her fiancé, um, he, he last saw her at a park, I think, when she dropped the one-year-old off to him. So this is a child they shared together. And they were supposedly getting married. And according to their families, like, they weren't having any like issues in their relationship. They were excited about getting married. Kelsey was excited about getting married. But something that stuck out to me a little bit about this case was that I think it was his mother or maybe it was her mother who said they 
They were having some financial issues, so they hadn't been able to move in together yet. So to me, that's kind of like a red flag all the time. Financial issues, I think, are often responsible for not only marital disputes, but when you have like a death in a marriage and it's because of the other spouse, I think that financial issues can often be to blame. Just like with, um, what's his face that I hate talking about? Chris Watts. I hate that man. I think that the financial stress that they were going through um, really kind of caused a lot of issues, which then caused a lot of resentment, which then caused him to... Um, I don't know, think he wanted to kill his entire family. Not that that's an excuse, but I do think it's a stressor and pressure on people that a lot of people can't handle and they buckle under it. Yeah. Did I get a PO box yet? Not yet. It's December. It's Christmas time. It's been crazy. I haven't had a lot of time to do much of anything besides um, get ready for Christmas and research and record and edit <laughs> and work. <laughs> so I'll get to that. But Patrick... Patrick's arrest came nearly one month after his fiance, the mother of his one-year-old daughter, vanished on Thanksgiving Day near Woodland Park, a city between Denver and Colorado Springs. So he was booked on charges of first-degree murder and solicitation for first-degree murder at the Teller County Jail. He's being held without bond. And I guess formal charges are going to be filed against him in about 10 days. Now, I, what I think they haven't really released, and that's what happens when new cases are happening like this, um, they, don't, or they don't release things a lot. So it's hard for us. We want to know everything, and the police obviously aren't going to tell us everything they know at this point. So I, um, I think when they got a search warrant for his house, they probably found something on his computer possibly that led them to believe he had something to do with her death. And they have not found a body yet. So they don't even know if she is alive or dead. They do think she is dead, obviously, which is why he was um, arrested. What do you guys think about this? Um, why I wanted to be an officer so I could know the deets, yeah. <laughs> they had to have probable cause. They, Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, even though they didn't release anything, so they didn't say why they thought he was responsible or why they assumed he is. Um, I assume that they found something in his house when they looked. They found something that led them to believe he had killed her and that she was not alive any longer. Mm hmm <laughs> and just popping in huge bags what's huge bags are you talking about under my eyes yeah I'm exhausted <laughs> had his mom in handcuffs too what hey buddy hey Lex mm, yes I will be interested to see what happens when her phone records and his phone records and things start getting released and I honestly do believe and you know don't quote me I think this is going to be a, another big case like the Shannon and Chris Watts case because, honestly, I wonder if he even, like, took inspiration from Chris. The Watts case is crazy. You can't stop watching the videos. I feel like I can't watch any more videos about this. Like, I cannot do it. It has become such a big part of my life, and it's become so, like, ingrained in me that I had to step away from it. My nine-year-old called it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> John, you think he did? You Are you saying he did take, like, inspiration from Chris Watts? Because I definitely think that he did. I mean, it's, like, the same area. The same, not the same kind of situation because they weren't even living together, which is crazy to me because they were engaged. They're going to be married. They have a child together, a one-year-old child, and they're not living together because they can't afford to. And she was, I guess, I think she's like a flight teacher. Like she taught people how to fly, which is super cool. Like what a cool profession for a woman to have, you know, that's something you usually think like a man would do. And what like a cool chick she must have been, right? To like be a pilot and to know how to fly planes and to teach other people. Like that is so cool. Why is it always the cool chicks that this happens to? 
Mm. Would you ever cover disappearance of missing people cases alongside your true crime videos? I do. I do. I do cover disappearances like Maura Murray one and there's a couple other. Oh, thank you, Clarissa. Um, my makeup's like faded after an entire day at work. I got up early this morning. I thought I had a doctor's appointment at 8.15. It was in my calendar. So I got up really early before work and I went to the doctors and I sat there and they were like, you don't have a doctor's appointment today. And I was like, oh. And then I got coffee and then I drove to work. I also got coffee before the doctor's appointment and then I got coffee after the doctor's appointment. But then I drove to work, worked all day, dealt with that Christmas, December crowd. And uh, now I'm here after I give Bella a bath, of course. She had to have a bath. Some men can't handle the cool gals. That's true. Thank you so much, Christy. Two kids were also found on their parents' property today. What? What? I missed it. You think they will find her body? I do. Now, it was also something interesting that I found. Hold on. Hold on. You know, when Huffington Post comes out with an article, it's going to be good. Is my internet connection slow right now, or is nothing happening? Let's try again. I'm on 4G. Why is this happening? All right, let's try a different one. Huffington Post lost out. Let's try people. People. People knows what's right. All right, the fiance, blah, 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 blah. I think he had like a cow farm or something. I just really read about this quickly before, um, earlier before I gave Bella a bath, but, and it's also funny, why was, she, why did Cheryl, this woman's mother, not report her missing until 10 days after she was missing? What the heck? Does that not seem weird to you? Am I wrong? You have a lot of Skylander stuff? Oh, really? You like Skylanders? What? Get out of here, sneaky. Somebody said they have a lot of Skylander stuff. Oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> so last Friday, investigators searched the home and 35 acre property of Frazzi. Am I saying that right? Who lived in, lives in Florissant. All right. Get out of here. You don't need to hear about this sad stuff. Go. So he lives in Florissant, about 15 miles west of Woodland Park. So this is what I don't get. He has a home and a 35-acre property, but they can't live together because they can't afford it. What? The couple's daughter had been staying with Frazzi after Bareth disappeared, but is now in protective custody. Three days after Bareth apparently vanished, her mobile phone pinged on a cell tower near Goodling, Idaho, nearly 600 miles from her home in Colorado. What is going on? This is a huge mystery, right? That same day, texts from the phone of Bareth were sent to her employer, Das Aviation, saying she would not be at work. So did this dude set her up? Like, did he, I wonder if they found like his cell phone records where they pinged near the same places where her cell phone records pinged. Did he send a text from her phone after he killed her saying, you know, I can't come to work, trying to throw people off of the scent, trying to give himself time. Did he drive her out somewhere? So it would seem like she was leaving. What's going on? And you know what? You know how like Chris Watts looked normal and everybody was like, this is so weird. He looks so normal. Oh my God. Thank you so much. How do you pronounce your name? And Julie, did I say it right? And Julie Cummings, did I say it right? You have to give me the phonetic pronunciation. He was charged with solicitation of manslaughter or something, not solicitation of like a prostitute. Like, I think he maybe, what does that mean? Does that he tried to get her killed? But okay, so anyways, let me get back to it. You know how they say like Chris Watts looks so normal? How could he do this? This dude does not look normal. This guy looks like a straight up creeper. He's probably gonna come for me now. Like, and everybody who like defends him is gonna be like, don't say he looks like a creeper. He's complete, he lost his his girlfriend, he looks like Luke Wilson to me. 
like a poor man's Luke Wilson in like one of the most ridiculous movies ever, right? Luke Wilson. Mm -hmm. Yep. Crazy phrasy. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny. He offered to pay someone to kill her. Why? Does anybody know why? Doesn't he look like a creepy Luke Wilson? Am I allowed to say that? Is that like defamation? I don't even know anymore. He looks like a creepy Luke Wilson. Why does he want, why did he want her dad? Why? What happened? She is a beautiful woman. She looks, you know, for the most part to be smart, motivated, a good mom. What did she do that he wanted her dad? Does anybody know the motive? Charged with first degree murder and solicitation of murder because he allegedly hired someone. Why is everyone a legit psycho now? Everybody's always been a legit psycho. They just are just finding it out. It's not defamation if it's true. We don't know if it's true. But pretty sure he he looks creepy. So Chris Watts looked normal, I guess. A lot of women, I guess, find Chris Watts attractive. I do not. Only be, Maybe because the only time I was introduced to Chris Watts was like at the second I saw him talking on TV, I knew he was guilty and he had killed his entire family. I knew from the moment he started talking, he was guilty. I knew it. So I never looked at him and was like, huh, he's kind of cute. I never looked at him like that because I knew he was a murderer. I don't know if seeing him under different circumstances, would I see him in a different way? Probably not. Um, but people were like, he's cute. He seems fine. He seems like a good father. This guy, Frazzy, crazy, phrasy, crazy, phrasy. <laughs> We're going to start calling him that. Can we do it? Crazy, phrasy. He does not look normal. He looks like a, looks like a creep. What do you guys think about this? Why does he look like Adam Sandler? Dude, I think he legitimately looks like Luke Wilson in like a, in like a Zoolander movie. And I know that was Owen Wilson, but that's just how I see him. Or maybe in like one of those, what was that movie that Luke Wilson was in where he went back to college and Vince Vaughn was in it? What was it called? I know you guys know. I know you guys know. Tell me. Walmart brand Luke Wilson. <laughs> Old school. I knew it. Thank you, Amanda. Old school. This is like Luke Wilson in old school after he's done some like crazy fraternity prank and you know they're doing like some b-roll about it that's what this is if he knew he was gonna get arrested for murder he should have gotten a haircut horrible disgusting she was so cute too a great smile she looked like just a nice woman and of course, I don't know her. She, I'm sure she had her, her issues. I'm sure she had her quirks. But she didn't deserve what happened to her. You know, she's missing, but the police definitely think she's dead. Why did her mother not report her until 10 days after she went missing, though? She went missing on Thanksgiving. Nobody called her after Thanksgiving. Who did she spend Thanksgiving with? What's going on? And Cheryl told NBC News that her daughter's relationship with Frazee had been good and loving. <sighs> they've had plans that haven't worked out as they would like, but they've dealt with that and they've made things work regardless. She said her daughter's looking forward to getting married, but they had not set a wedding date. Now, girls, ladies. Let me redirect for a second. I'm going to give you a little relationship advice. If you're engaged and, you know, it's been like over a year, over two years, and you haven't set a wedding day yet and you want to, he's just not that into you. He proposed to you to shut you up. He proposed to you to buy himself time. That's just my opinion. Don't come for me. But literally, that's, that's what's going on here, right? To me, if a man wants to marry you, he does. And he wants to do it as soon as possible. Now, they had a baby before they were married. So what I'm thinking happened is, let me settle in for this one. What I'm thinking happened is she had the baby and she's like, you know, we had a baby together. When are you going to propose to me? And he's like, uh putting it off, putting it off, and she keeps pressuring him. She keeps pushing him. And ladies, we do this sometimes. 
I have never done this, but I have had friends and relatives who have done it. And we do this. We push them. We push them. And you should never push somebody to marry you. Like, you should never be like, when are you going to propose to me? He's going to propose to you when he wants to propose to you. And if he hasn't yet and you're sick of waiting, then don't wait anymore and take off. I don't care if you got a baby with him or not. You deserve better than that. You deserve to be wanted and you deserve to be pursued. And you deserve for a man who wants to marry you to want to marry you as soon as possible, in my opinion. Okay? So... She's probably pushing him, saying, we have a kid together. What's the hold up? Pushing him, pushing him. So he probably thought, like, okay, I'm going to propose to this girl. And maybe it'll buy me some time before I actually have to marry her. And maybe I can just, you know, put it off forever and I never have to marry her. But that probably didn't happen. After they were engaged, she probably kept pushing him now to set a date. She was excited to get married. Her mother said she's excited to get married. And he's probably now again pushing it off, pushing it off. Now, I don't know. This is all speculation. This is just my opinion. I obviously don't know. This case is pretty new. This whole thing with him getting arrested just happened today. But that's just, that's just my opinion. I think that's what happened. Um, if he wants to marry you, he will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Darling, you haven't heard of it yet. I have, I've only been keeping like a slight um, eye on it because I kind of... Uh, I kind of knew it was going to be her boyfriend or her fiance. Typically when a woman or even a man goes missing or, you know, it's always, it's always like the city significant other. <laughs> it's always a significant other. It's always the person they're romantically involved with or close to. And not always, obviously, I don't like to speak in absolutes, even though I just did, but it's usually the first place that people look or that police look because they have the most motive, right? Literally wish I was a lesbian. Men are psychos. I mean, you you can be a lesbian. It's a choice, right? You can make the choice to do that. I think a lot of women are just like, done. I mean, it's not a choice. Oh, my God. I don't want to say anything and have people come for me. It's obviously not a choice. You're born that way or not. But I do know women who have just been like, I'm done with this whole man thing. And they went to the other side. And that's okay. You have heard of Scott Peterson, right? I would think these guys would have learned. Especially, okay, so who said that? Uh, oh, was it Joyce? I missed you. Um, yes, especially now with the fact that we have so much ability to find out where you are at all times, right? We always have cell phones on this. We're always on computers. We're in cars that have a GPS and computers in them. It is so much harder now to get away with something. And yet these idiots keep trying to get away with things. I don't know why. Do they think they're smarter? Do they think that nobody's paying attention? Do they think that they just know better? Do they think they're covering their tracks? There's always somebody watching you. And I was having the conversation, I think it was with my husband the other day, where I said, there's, there's cameras everywhere, right? Even our homes have them now. Like I have a camera that points to the backyard. I have a camera that focuses on the driveway. I have a camera that focuses out to my front yard and my doorbell. You can't walk near my house without the camera telling me that you've been near my house. And everybody has them, right? So you could walk down a street at any given time. You're being, you know, recorded by five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cameras. And it's the same thing when you're walking down a street, like in a town, past stores, everybody has cameras. So there's literally a forensic and electronic footprint and fingerprint you're leaving behind you everywhere you go. Don't use Alexa. She records everything. I don't care. <laughs> I don't use Alexa. I didn't use Alexa, but I don't care. There's nothing going on in my life that I care about. What do I film on? Right now I'm filming on my MacBook. Um, it's a MacBook Pro. Typically, I film on a Canon 80D. Let me show you. She's over there. This is my baby. So this is my mic. It's a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. This is the Canon 80D, and this is a Sigma lens. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. All right, so I'm back. So that's the Rode Video Mic Pro. Love this thing. And you know what's cool about this mic is when you turn the camera off, 
it turns the mic off. And when you turn the camera on, it turns the mic on. So you literally, I, with my old mic, I used to turn my camera off and forget to turn the mic off. And then it, the battery would be dead when I wanted to record. Worst thing ever. And um, that sucked. But this mic is awesome. And the camera is awesome. And this lens is one of my favorites that I've ever used. It's the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter. I love it. It's so crisp and so beautiful. I'm smudged. And this, I just keep here in case it accidentally falls off the tripod or one of my kids or dogs bumps into it and it falls off the tripod. So hopefully it will save the lens from breaking. And that that's it. Yeah, I love Canon too. I was thinking of getting like a little vlogging camera just to play with because when I go, like when I go to New York City or when I go to Mexico in April for my sister's wedding, I don't want to bring this with me because it's ginormous, right? The last time I went to New York City, I lugged this around with me everywhere and my back hurt. It was hard and it kept hitting me. So like I would have it on me like this and it would keep like bumping into me and I actually bruised my hip, my hip bone because it hit my hip so hard. So I would like a smaller, um, I was looking into a Sony and then I can vlog and share my day with you guys if you're interested in that because you can't vlog with this, watch. Hi guys, how are you? Did you see I sounded like Barney? Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> People seen deadly women. I mean, women kill and lie too. Is that the show on Netflix? I've seen it. It's so good. What was that? What was that show? I think it was on Oxygen. It was called Snapped, right? Where people snap. That was a good one. Can't go wrong with Canon. I love Canon. First live, great group. Hi, Pegs. I'm glad you're here. You had that huge thing around your neck. I know. I bruised my hip bone. It like kept swinging and then it hit my hip and I bruised it. But I did get a lot of great pictures. And I don't think any like handheld camera can really match the level of picture taking on the DSLR. But we'll see. What recommendation do you have for starting a channel? You're going to think it's stupid, but just start. Just do it. I literally started. I thought about it one day, and that's how I am. I'm spontaneous and kind of stupid, but I was like woke up one day, and I was like, I really want to start a YouTube channel. And then the next day, um, I did it. That's it. I just started. I had no plans. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know anything about YouTube. I have learned everything I know on the way, on the journey. It's a journey. And you will learn as you go, just like life, right? You learn as you go. Nobody is born knowing everything about life or knowing anything about life. You're born, you don't know anything about life, but you learn as you go. And that's how I view the YouTube journey. Um, you will start and be completely clueless about SEO, be completely clueless about editing, about thumbnails. You will literally not know how to do anything, but that's kind of what makes it a lot of fun because you don't know how to do anything and you have to learn everything and you have to figure out how to learn those things. And as you go along figuring it out, you feel really proud of yourself every single time you master something new, like finally learning how to make a thumbnail, finally learning how to edit, learning how to um, do jump cuts or learning how to add pictures to you know a video. When you had no idea how to do any of that before, you will feel so proud. There will be such a sense of accomplishment that as adults, I don't think we often experience because we go into jobs and we kind of stay in those jobs and we become proficient and we just do the same thing every day. And we don't really learn or master anything new. It's like how it feels to be a kid when you're learning new things all the time and you become good at them and you're so excited and it's so you know naive and fun and innocent. When you take on something like that as an adult, you really kind of recapture that youth and that exuberance and that excitement at life and at finding out new things and at discovering and you know mastering all these new skills. And so I'm sorry, I just went on a really long ramble and I did not mean to answer a really simple question with such an existential answer, but that is my answer and I'm sticking to it. 
top three fave true crime people on here you are interesting to listen to and full of personality. Oh, it's your first live, Brittany. Hello. Do you have an opinion on the death of Marilyn Monroe? Oh, Marilyn Monroe is going to be like my next video after Casey and Kaylee Anthony. So stay tuned. Um, my top three true crime YouTubers. You guys ask me this every live and I always feel weird answering. I really like Kendall Ray. I like Shauna Ray a lot. And I like Lord and Arts. Um, those are my top three if I have to pick. Now, I have recently, since I've started doing true crime, steered away from watching other people's true crime videos just because I don't want to like hear something they've said and then repeat it in my own video and have people be like, oh, you took that from somebody else's video. And it's a very common thing to do. You hear something and you, you know, regurgitate it, not even knowing that you've already heard it. So that is a very common thing to do. You found my channel from Kendall Ray. Crystal, really? How? In the comments? What camera would you recommend for someone who films on their phone and wants to upgrade? So this is my opinion, but go big or go home. <laughs> I know like a lot of people are like, um, you can start on your phone, you can start small, but if this is something you're serious about, make the investment and it will prevent you from quitting and backing out. Because if you actually put money into it and you actually put time and effort into it, you will be less likely to quit. Does that make sense? Wine and Crime podcast is awesome. I do like it. Who else's podcast was I just listening to that I really liked? Um, uh, last podcast on the left. I listened to a little bit of their podcast last week, and then I listened to a good deal of it the last couple of days, and I really like them. They're funny guys. Funny guys. Can I wait for my four-hour drive to New Orleans to watch this uninterrupted from start to finish? Enjoy the wine. Drink a glass for me. Jenna, you're leaving? No, I can't believe we've been here for 41 minutes. I just look. <laughs> All right. So why don't you guys ask me some questions? Amelia Earhart. Did you see the wine splash up? What a waste. Amelia Earhart. I would love to do a video on Amelia Earhart because there are so many cool conspiracy theories. So I would love that. Are there a lot more people here this week than last week? 479, 480. Um, speaking of society, have you seen the three-part documentary, The Trap? I have not. I will have to. What's your goal for the end of this year? Like my YouTube goal or my life goal? My life goal for the end of this year is to take at least one nap. My, U my YouTube goal, so we're talking like end of December. What are we at now, 43? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe 60? Would that be crazy to ask for? 60. Do I believe in aliens? I Yeah, I do believe in aliens. Absolutely. Yes, Rose. Rose, you wanted my life goal or my YouTube goal? Both. Are there any cases you won't cover? No. Mm -mm. You think they solved Amelia Earhart? They didn't. I remember that History Channel documentary. They came out like last year and they said they saw her on, um, what islands was it? And there was like a picture and a book, a historical book, but then it ended up that picture wasn't really at the same time or something. We have to do a video on it. Stephanie, have you considered what, Brittany? You didn't finish it. Ray Dunn collection? Oh, <laughs> it's like some of it. <laughs> and these are um, our wedding vows. So I don't know if you can see all them. It's so funny because these are my husband's wedding vows at the top. And then these are my wedding vows. So obviously I talk a lot more than he does. He's a man of few words. Can you do a series on Scientology? Guys, you keep asking me to do Scientology. I am so terrified of Tom Cruise. Like I know that guy's going to show up at my house if I start talking about Scientology. Like it will be over. Please cover teacher's pet regarding Chris Dawson murdering his wife and getting with a student. <gasps> oh, okay. Do a video with your husband. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> we'll 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 see. We'll try. Thank you, Carrie, so much. Don't come for me. <laughs> I won't, girl. What do you think of Jamie Kloss's disappearance? I don't know. That's a hard one. I really thought for sure that Jamie would have been found by now. I thought it would be, you know, a misunderstanding or somebody that they would figure this out by now. At this point, I'm wondering if somebody took her and brought her out of the country. Mm -hmm. 
Have you heard about some interesting crime from Hungary? I have not, but can you send it to me? Gmail, stephanieharlow at gmail.com. Princess Diana video after Marilyn Monroe. Yup. Natalie Wood. Oh, I would love to do a Natalie Wood video too. Uh, Natalie Wood got killed by her husband though. We all know that, right? We know that. What's my favorite Christmas movie? Can we talk about Christmas movies for a second? I mean, it is going to be, this is our last live before Christmas. My favorite ever Christmas movie. I have a couple, but White Christmas. White Christmas, Bing Crosby. I mean, it's everything to me. It's my childhood. It's every single like perfect Christmas I want to live. When the general comes in at the end and they all stand up and, you know, they sing like, We'll follow the old man wherever he is everything. Okay. And then also I like love actually. I love love actually. I watch it every year. So I watch white Christmas on Christmas Eve when I'm wrapping presents every year. It's my tradition and love actually I watch every year and last holiday with Queen Latifah. I watched it twice the other day, twice once by myself. And then once I made Aiden watch it with me because I just wanted to share the love. So elf, uh, no, Elf's okay. It's funny. I like when she's singing, um, baby, it's cold outside in the shower, even though apparently that song's illegal now. We, we can't sing the song because it's weird or people are uncomfortable about it, which just pisses me off because it's such a beautiful song. Have you seen the latest interviews with Casey Anthony's parents? I have watched those. Yes, I have. Want to rap mine? I'm horrible. No, no, no. I'm a terrible rapper. My husband raps like a professional because he's OCD and he's a perfectionist and I am not. I'm just like, let's get it done. They're going to rip it open anyways. I'm a really bad rapper. I'm an Aquarius. It's a wonderful life is a good one too, but I get, I get a little depressed at it's a wonderful life. Miracle on 34th street. It's great. The Santa Claus is always good. The family stone. Is that a Christmas movie? Technically though, but I love it. But is it a Christmas movie? Cause I can watch it all the time. Kurt Cobain's a video I'm going to be doing. The song is date rapey. It's not. Okay. The song's not date rapey. So let me just break it down for you. And this is just my opinion. Don't come for me, but it's also history. This song was made in a time when women could not technically be with men unchaperoned. So they, um, you know, either had to have like their parents with them. They could never be alone with men. It was just, you know, not seen as kosher. She's being coquettish. She's being coy. She doesn't want to leave. She's not like, let me out of here. I don't want to stay. She's like, oh, my parents are going to worry about me. And he's like, but baby, it's cold outside. And she's like, yeah, but I can't go. You know, I got to get up early. Stop it. Stop it. This song's not date rapey. I'm sorry. This, I can't do it. I can't do it. The woman in cold outside is being coy. Exactly, right? I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. They love each other. They want to be with each other. Stop it. If you do shirts, can you do tank tops for warm weather folks in SoCal? Yes. I wish I was in SoCal. Oh, I'm not, I don't want to sing anything right now because I don't know what I would sing. But I just give you a little. Fifty Shades is okay. Fifty Shades is okay. Okay, what? I didn't get your I didn't get your beginning. Watch the original movie clip. It's not date rapey. I agree. It's not. It's a beautiful song. I love that song. Oh, thank you so much, Natalie. You're in SoCal too? I thought you meant rapper like your husband. <laughs> no, he's not. I, my husband's a good rapper. Like rapping presence. He's not a good rapper otherwise. I am a good rapper, though. You should hear me hit up some Eminem. Uh, cleaning out my closet? It's over. People just always have something to complain about. Yeah, I mean, it's just the kind of, um, it's, it's, the way we, it's the way we live today that um, I think people look for things wrong in, in things. And that's kind of sad to live that way. Little drummer boy. Oh, first of all, my favorite Christmas music. Let's not get started. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder all day. Stevie Wonder's Christmas album, hands down, is the best Christmas album that's ever been made. Someday Christmas? I can't take it. Amazing. It's everything. People should worry more about actual psychopaths in real life. Thank you, song. 
Seconded. In sync Christmas? Nope. Stop it. Stop it. Mariah Carey Christmas? Oh my God. That's also one of my favorites. All I want for Christmas is you. I always thought what's in the strength because she's feeling giddy. Yes. Yes. Of course. No, of course. Yes. It's not what's in this drink like you roofied me. How old are you and when did you have your kids? Mm. All right. So quick. I'll tell you. Any song can be interpreted horrifically if you look at it in certain ways. Mm -hmm. Lucky in the Sky with Diamonds was apparently a drug song, but in fact, it was named after a painting. I mean, it was also by the Beatles, so it could have been, I said Lucky, it's Lucy. I, it could have been a drug song. I mean, that was the time, free love. Don't ask a woman's age. I don't mind, guys. I'm not crazy, you know, about like telling people my age, but it's pretty easy to find out. I am 34. I will be 35 on February 8th. I had my first daughter, Nev, when I was 17. She is now 17, which is crazy to think that she is the same age that I was when I gave birth to her. But she's 17, and she's a senior in high school. I'm very proud of her. She's the editor of the school paper. She's in the play, the musical. She's a beautiful singing voice. If you haven't seen her YouTube channel, check her out. It's Cinder Fay, C-Y-N-D-E-R. No, it's Cinder is lame. <gasps> I'm sorry. Yes, check her out. Anyways. Um, then I went to college and then I had my son who is seven and I had him, I don't remember when I had him after you like past 25, it all blends in, but I was probably like 27 or 28. And then Bella, she will be two on January 3rd. Um, and I had her just two years ago, two month old. You're behind on having kids. No, I was, I got a jump start. I got an early start. I never actually, um, why do we have trolls in live? Can we cancel trolls out of live feeds? No, I cannot take my pants off, Carlos, because they're Batman pants. And if you take your Batman pants off, you're not Batman anymore. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, when I had my daughter and I was seven, I never really got to be like a kid. And that's kind of sad. And that's why I think that I'm really a good person to go into the Casey and Kaylee Anthony story because a lot of people excuse Casey Anthony's behavior on being a young mother. And I was a younger mother when I had my daughter and I did not disappear her. So I don't use that as an excuse or view it as an excuse. I hope you don't. What's your daughter's YouTube channel? Okay. So hold on. It's Cinder is lame. I'll show it to you. Can you see or is it backwards? So Cinder is lame. Cinder, C-Y-N-D-E-R, is lame. And she has a lot of cover. She has a beautiful voice. Oh, MLP song? What's the MLP song? I don't even know what that is. You were 17 when you had your daughter too? Joanna. I reported Carlos. <laughs> you don't have to report him. They're harmless. Elvis Blue Christmas. That's a great song. Oh my God. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. It reminds me of that Christmas movie, um, A Year Without a Santa Claus, right? Which is like also a great kids Christmas movie. It's Aiden's favorite where she's crying because Santa's taking the year off. Oh. So sweet. Live stream because of my stupid shifts. Oh, <laughs> agree. I was single mom at 19. Yep. Never ever watch Anthony, anything on Casey Anthony. Oh, Casey Anthony. Guys, wait till you see this video or videos. I'm going to go ham on her. Hi from Hong Kong. Hello. Merry Christmas, everyone. Good night. Bye, Pegs. Have you heard of Albert Fish? Why have I heard of that name? Yikes, giving out info on your kids when you're covering true crime. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you'll see everything about my kids, like their pictures and about them. It's part of my life. So thanks for the judgment. <laughs> Oh, I know. Thanks, Abs, Glam, Fam. Nev has a great voice. Can't wait for True Crime Monday. 
I don't know if anything's going to be out this Monday. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> Sorry, probably won't have anything out this Monday. Um, would I ever make a video on my experience with being a teen mom? Oh, maybe. I never thought about it. Can't imagine. You have a beautiful voice. You should sing on the Star Maker app. I don't know what that is. When did I start my channel? I started my channel this past April. So April of 2018, and I started my channel. We love hearing about your kiddos. Thank you so much. Don't stress. Enjoy your family time. I will, Rose. I certainly will. And then, obviously, Casey Anthony and Keely Anthony will be out next week. And I never feel pressured from you guys, by the way. Don't ever feel like you make me feel pressured to put out content. Um, I'm my own person, and I don't ever let anybody dictate my movements or my decisions. But I put pressure on myself almost. I'm just always driven. Like as soon as I finish a case, I'm like, oh, I'm going to take a break. And then I'm kind of like wandering around for an hour. And then I'm like, wait, what's the next case? I have to get started. I don't know. It's just something about me. I've always been that way. <laughs> do you ever check your Facebook messengers? I just sent you a case on there. Um, I do sometimes check. It's hard because I'm getting messages on Twitter. I'm getting messages on Instagram, messages on Facebook messages in my Gmail and messages on YouTube. So there's like five places to check. And if I kept up on all my messages all the time, I would never be able to research, edit, or record because I would be busy just doing that. So I do give myself an hour every day to go through my social media messages, but then I have to kind of cut myself off or I'll get wrapped up into it and I won't get any work done. Mm, gotta get drunk. I love you. Oh, I love you too, Kaylee. Channel's done so well in a short period of time. It's much harder now to be noticed with so much competition. Um, yeah, you it's hard to get noticed. And that's why you kind of have to find your your niche. And I know it's something that I always didn't believe in. Like I started off in the beauty and skincare area because I love makeup and I love skincare. And it was so saturated. And also there's a lot of drama going on when I started off in beauty and skincare. And I didn't like that about the um the community. So I, I pivoted because true crime is something I love. So I pivoted and I was like, I'm just going to do this because I like it. And it took off. So you have to find your niche and you have to find something that you give to a community that's underrepresented in the community. Underrepresented underrepresented in the community. Sorry, this may have been gotten lost, but there's an unsolved case. Um, yep, absolutely. I, will, I always try to go through and get all the cases. And even if I don't respond to you, I'm putting it in my Google Doc. The Menendez brothers is one of my favorite cases ever, so I would love to cover it. Um, sneaking in to say hi before you're done. Kinky Kitty just sneaking in. Stephanie, would you consider doing the Nora Jackson case? Um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you love my accent. Thank you. I know there's creeps out there. Um, I know there's creeps out there who, you know, might use. Wait, I'm going to go back up. Freedom Tribe. Don't mean any judgment. Just love you. I know. I know you're not trying to judge me, um, but there are creeps out there, but you'd be surprised how easy it is to find people. So if people really wanted to find me, and Nev's already on YouTube anyway. She was on YouTube far before I was, so she's already made herself kind of publicly um, out there. Um, but if people want to find me or harass me or try to bother me, they're going to be able to no matter what information I give because there's IP addresses and there's ways to track them. And that's why I have a bomb ass security system. And I literally would invite somebody to try and mess with me or my family because I will end you. <laughs> Did you possibly record yourself singing? I will do that one day. Maybe I'll put a poll up and see what you guys want to hear as a cover and I will do that. But I don't want people to be like, why are you singing? Just talk about true crime again. Have you ever done something um, older, like the princess in the tower? Oh, the princess in the tower? I love that. That's such a history buff case. I would love to do that. I haven't, but I would love to. Natalie Holloway, definitely want to do that. Um, please do a video about this most famous murder case in Norway. Oh. Mm hmm Conspiracy theory videos. Absolutely. You, we, sh we, me and Nev should club. She is so busy. She's too busy for me lately. She's way too busy for me. Um, she is, like I said, a senior, she's editor. She's got plays and like, she just had a concert. She had 
uh, play the other, maybe a couple weeks ago. She's got a musical coming up that she's rehearsing for. So hopefully um, things will slow down for her soon and we could do that. That would be awesome. I watch a lot of the true crime YouTubers. They have all different ways of approaching things. Yes, I agree. And I mean, I've even been asked to make shorter videos. Like I think somebody asked me, can you make shorter videos for when I don't have the time to watch a long video? And I respect that, but it's not in me to um, kind of give a condensed version of something. It's just the way I am. Um, I don't know why I can't. Uh, I can try to. I can try to, but I don't know if I'll be able to. No, Elizabeth, that's so sad. Thank you so much. Have you heard of the Alice Gross case? I have not. I keep suggesting it, but will you look into the Ryan Poston, Poston case? Yes. Um, if you've suggested it before, I already have it on a Google Doc, but I can literally only get to one case at a time, and that one case usually takes me like a week or two, so it's going to take me a little while to get to everything, but I will. You have nice skin and eyes. Husband is lucky. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I hope he knows. You love the longer videos. Thank you, guys. Never, ever, 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 ever stop making long videos. I won't. I can't. Like I said, it's not in my personality. What about covering BTK? Would love to. What are your favorite crime novels authors? Well, that's a whole, that's a whole separate video. I love long videos. I'm going to make a favorites video, by the way, at the end of this month, like my December favorites, podcasts, um, YouTube channels, books, music, everything. So that'll that'll answer all your questions, hopefully. Warren Japs, I would love to. Can't wait to check out your makeup videos. They're not that good. <laughs> have you ever had any paranormal experiences? I have. Are you going to do an OJ video? Would love to. <laughs> Watch Stephanie on the weekends and evenings. Thank you, Rachel. Hey, you know, okay, JC Dugard. Ah, uh, yeah, JC Dugard. Yes, I would love, I would love to do a video on JC. Do you have any? Do you have a form or anything for case requests? A friend of mine has been missing since nine two thousand eleven from Rochester, New York. Oh, that's close to me. Um, just send it to my email, and I always have. Um, I go through my emails and then put everything into a Google Doc for me to refer to when I'm going to my next case. What do you think about the Shaquille O'Neal MK Ultra glitch on live TV? I have to look into it. I have not seen that one. I've seen the um, Cardi B MK Ultra glitch, which is the creepiest thing ever, but never that one. I had to come back to tell you that I just saw an article that says scientists created a psychopath robot. Weren't you going to leave to get drunk, though? Did you just make that up? <laughs> you went to Cornell, like Andy from The Office. <laughs> sorry what do you think about Nora Jackson um oh, I can't cover all of this guys in one video I feel so bad it's already over an hour that evil grin my evil grin <laughs> wait video about clones MK Ultra is definitely real and completely freaky yeah and you know the Jonestown thing like there was so many conspiracy theories linked with Jonestown that I never got to because it would have been like five parts but there was a conspiracy theory that actually said Jonestown was basically like a United States mind control test, basically like an MK Ultra thing. And did you know the Unabomber had actually been part of the MK Ultra program before he went crazy and killed a bunch of people? Just saying. Oh, thank you, Clarissa. Oh no, can't wait for the Casey Anthony video. Albert Fish was a horrible dude. JFK conspiracy theories? Yes. I would love that. I would never make this up. <laughs> Kaylee, that's scary. Yes, I know. Maybe I'll do an entire MK Ultra video on all the MK Ultra conspiracies and include the Jonestown and the Unabomber one in that so we can go more in depth on that. That would be cool. Yes, I know. Uh, Paul Bernardo, Bernardo, Bernardo. Bernardo, Corning, New York is my hometown, but I'm currently stuck in New Mexico. New Mexico is really pretty, though. And all, an MK Ultra video would be great, but it would probably be, like, demonetized immediately. Um, you need a whole book to write down all these cases. <laughs> I have a Google Doc, <laughs> so same thing. Ed Kemper, yep. Corning, every time I hear Corning now. Oh, no, it's Cornell. Corning is the glass museum. <laughs> hey, Stephanie. Hey, Crystal. In parentheses, Brittany Murphy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was a crazy one. 
My husband's psychiatrist is one of the doctors who built the profile to catch the Unabomber. Fancy psychiatrist. What is the Cardi B MK Ultra Bitch? Dude, Google it. Shane Dawson made a really good video on it. It's so good. It's so good. Oh my God, it's creepy. You shouldn't watch it if you're about to go to bed though. Like, and make sure the lights aren't off. It's scary. Michael Jackson. What's what's going on with Michael Jackson? There's no conspiracy there. He was weird. Johnny Gosh. Yes, I would love to see the video on Johnny Gosh. It's one of the saddest things ever. Some conspiracy videos could bring in some interesting subs. Yes, probably some interesting ones for sure. Shane is working on an alien conspiracy video right now. I think he is considering I've seen a couple of his tweets and that points to that. Do you think Khloe Kardashian is OJ's daughter? I think she could be. I think she could be. Oklahoma Girl Scouts? Oh, it's so sad. H.H. Holmes? Yes, H.H. Holmes is going to probably be like either in January or February. Definitely. Golden State Killer? Yes. Aggressive Christianary Missionary Training Corps called. Somebody already said that. Was it you, Kitty? Valencia? Valencia? Such a nice place in Spain. Beautiful oranges. What's your stance on aliens? Stephanie, did you get my email? I don't know, Jennifer. I couldn't tell you. When did you send it? <laughs> Zodiac Killer is a good one. MK Ultra, H.H. H. Holmes. Okay, so guys, do I watch I Never? Yes, I watch I Never. Love him. So cute. Black Dahlia, definitely. Do you ever watch City Confidential? Mm -mm, have not. I think Chloe is a G. Oh, Chloe with a K. Come on, Abs Glam fam. You know they're all Ks. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer, sure. Um, what was it about the Beaver Family Murders? Beaver? Beaver Family Murders? I love to see you do H.H. Holmes. Winchester House? Oh, that's such an interesting one. The Winchester House. Do I believe in aliens? Yes, I do. Brittany Drexel. Here's the tough thing about Brittany Drexel, guys. Literally, her um, her family lives like like in my neighborhood. I could walk to their house right now, and it just makes me uncomfortable to do a video about somebody who um, lives so close to me because I feel like it's almost disrespectful. I don't know. I guess like the distance of these other cases makes it a little bit easier. Um, but I don't know. I just would feel super uncomfortable doing that. Uh, yes, I'm always interested in lesser known cases. Henry Lee Lucas. I talked about Henry Lee Lucas a little bit in my, um, Kelly Doe video, which was like, I think my first ever true crime video was my Kelly Doe video. Crazy. Joseph Fritzy. Can't even say that out loud. Jayla Davis, ever heard of the Radium Girls? Yes, the Radium Girls with the clocks and the paintbrushes. Of course, 3 a.m. here, but so worth it. Love your channel. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Brittany Shanks. Okay, so I am getting a text. Um, wait, do you think they'll ever solve the Delphi murders? I can't even. I wish they would solve the Delphi murders. But. All right, so it is currently 10.08. We've been here for one hour and eight minutes. That's crazy. That went by fast. Who thinks that went by fast? Who thinks it went by fast? Everybody. It went by fast, right? Okay, so we will do this again next week. Um, my Casey and Kaylee Anthony videos will be out next week as well, probably midweek. Once the Christmas craziness has died down, it's going to be really hard to record while well, Aiden's home from school because I usually do that when Bella's in bed. I'm going to have to wake up really early, like 4 o'clock in the morning to record when they're sleeping. <sighs> Anyways, so we will do those videos next week. We'll do another live on Friday. And guys, follow me on Instagram. It's Stephanie Harlow. At Stephanie Harlow. Is that how Instagram works? At Stephanie Harlow and at Twitter it's Steph underscore Harlow um, and you'll keep updated with me more throughout like you know my work week and my regular week I keep updating everybody on what I'm doing or I try to um, and will Aiden say bye to hopefully Aiden has been settling himself down now I hope Merry Christmas everybody I love you guys so so much thank you so much for being here I really appreciate you guys I will see you next week 
Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to keep up with me during the week. And uh, I'll see you every Friday. Drink. I didn't say that at all in this video. Drink and slay all day. And Batman. Batman. All right, guys. I love you so much. Stay kind. Stay beautiful. Bye. <laughs>